Even if my pocket's empty, I don't really wanna go to work. Mm, no, no, no. It is so sweet under the sun. I'm gonna take my time. Cause I don't really wanna go to work. Got up this morning. All right, we're back in beautiful Amber Cove for another tour. But this time, I'm gonna give you a tour of just the highlights. I got a complete island tour, make sure you're watching that. But today, it's about the things not to miss when you're in Amber Cove. Let's just get off his ship and get started. All right, we're getting off here at Amber Cove. This is a big dock here that holds two ships. So we're just gonna keep moseying around till we get to the entrance. But it's gonna be a beautiful day today. And if you get tired on the way back or getting there, they got rickshaws here. I love that little touch. Yes, we are back at Amber Cove. All right, this is what you walk through to get out to the main area here in the port of Amber Cove. We're going to find our beach spot because if you get off this ship early, you want to find a chair especially if there's more than one ship here today. This highlight tour is just gonna go over some of the best places to see and things you don't wanna miss and things I've learned on this trip. So let's just get right into it and go to the secret spots. All right, we are where all the different shops are, but one of the things that's unique and you gotta do if you come to Amber Cove is you come to this building they will stamp your passport, which I think is really cool. So that's what we're gonna do. I got my passport here today. This is what it looks like inside. This fine man here is gonna stamp my passport. This is the first time I've ever had a passport stamped. There you go, sir. Thank you so much. Enjoy your trip. All right, thanks. And one thing about this port, when you get off, it is free. There's a couple things. Your alcohol pass will not work off of the cruise ship on this island. So that's a tip. Right, another thing you gotta do is you gotta come to this sign because it's probably the most photographed in Amber Cove as you see these people lined up to get their picture taken. Right by the cruise ship behind it, this is Amber Cove. And once you get to this Amber Cove sign, if you want a beautiful shot of the ship, walk out to the left of the Amber Cove sign and you got all these benches. Nobody even comes out here for a perfect picture. Another tip, I love to come out here, whatever ship I'm on and get a great picture. Is this perfect or what? That's the Carnival Venezia we sailed in on. And I'll tell you everything, everything about Amber Cove is beautiful. You will not find trash laying around here in this port. It is that meticulous. That's my next stop, way up there. You gotta walk up that place. But make sure you're coming into Chocolate World here because they give you free samples. I gotta get something when I leave here. Here's a tip right beside the chocolate world place and these things sell out these empanadas they're only at this place that i've seen but look at these things two dollars all right this was called a yucca ball right here at the two dollar stand you see the empanadas up top but this one intrigued me because it looks like a baseball now she said it's got potato and cheese so i'm just gonna try this and see what it tastes like it's like mashed potatoes surrounded by cheese that's incredible that is delicious try this here at amber cove and the pool area has got to be a must when you're amber cove because this is a highlight there is no beach here so make sure you don't bring a snorkel because you don't need it it's all about the pool and some of the activities like up top there's that zip lining and obviously you gotta do the swim up bar in Amber Cove. I'll be here a little bit later. And if you want a great overlook shot of the pool, 
come up to the top above the swim up bar and you can see how beautiful the pool area is or lagoon these people are having fun in the water and it's hot today there's a shot of those bungalows you can rent this is where you come off of the cruise ship right there but if you come a 180 from that this is a must you got to go to the sky bar which is way at the top and you will learn educational stuff along the way there's two sides to this you got a step side if you want to do the steps or there's a gradual grade on the other side I'll show you here when we get over there but now we're just walking to the sky bar and there are great overlooks on the way up here. Just take your time. I'm out of breath. But you will be amazed when you get up here. There's the cruise ship. This is why you come up here. It's got to be the views of Amber Coast. They're just priceless. Uh, and this bar up here, they got everything. Look at all this stuff they got. I see pina colada machines and over there that looks like strawberry. Watch our other Amber Cove videos because we show you everything there is to do, including highlights and a tour of the entire Amber Cove area. And you walk out from that bar and this is the overlook you talk about a great photo opportunity. I didn't even know this was here. And I've been here a couple times. That's what you do. A photo. Time to get on to the next stop. The next secret. Now here's that other side you can come up. That's a gradual grade. But it brings you up to the zip line. Now this is not much of a secret. Because it's the first thing you see. But the thing that's nice about it is the prices are very reasonable. Now, I think Amber Cove did this right. It is only $28 unlimited. That is a deal. Let's see if we can get one. Somebody going down here. They're getting clipped in right there. Here they go. This is what you see from the top. There they go. See you later. That thing's moving pretty fast. <laughs> now also when you're right under the zip lining, there are some great views up here as well of this entire island. Explore. <laughs> there we go. And again, this is something I think is awesome. Five dollars unlimited water slides. And let me tell you, this thing is fast. And this has got to be a highlight because these are from New York. Nathan's Hot Dogs. Right here on the island. And here's another highlight. They got a little water park for the kids to splash around in. This looks nice on a hot day. And make sure you're finding this little path that goes around because it's like a little nature park. Look at the orchids. And here's some koi beautiful walking through here and there's another waterfall at the other end all right here's the caribbean fish spot you gotta do this this is one thing that is a must look at the fish in here getting ready to clean your feet my wife did this oh they're attacking you <laughs> what's wrong <laughs> Look at all of them on there, hon. No, I can't look. Look. I, can't. I know I missed this in my last Amber Co. video. I don't remember seeing volleyball, but they got a nice course here with sand. And once again, just keep exploring. Look at this photo opportunity spot. This beautiful little cabana along the water. Now, out where the private cabanas are here, you can rent these. They're over top of water. Again, I don't know why, but... 
I guess you might be able to get in the water out here, but at least you can come out and get a photo. It looks like they got a bar out here. I think it is a bar. Now you can see where the cruise ship is and here's where the cabanas are. Normally you can't get out here if they're rented, but right now nobody's here. So he was kind enough to let me walk out and shoot some pictures. It's beautiful here. I don't know about the water though. It's not like your Bahama water, but you do feel like you're in the Maldives minus the water. Look at that one out there. It's got a chair out on the end. That's a huge one. I don't know how much these cost, but probably too salty for me. But if you want to explore maybe for the day or just relax, maybe you do this because it is beautiful. And maybe you could see yourself sitting here at this bar by these bungalows. And you probably want to look like this. Yeah. So again, if you want people to know where you were, get in this chair with the ship behind it. Oh, and they got rentals here. Close to the bungalows. Here's all the prices. Zip lining, $28. Umbrellas, $22. Floats, noodles, cabanas. There's kayaks, paddle boards. Man, they got all kinds of water sports here at Amber Cove. Look at those monster pedal boards. Pedal boats, I guess. They're like, they need a motor. Now, one thing about Amber Cove, and specifically the Dominican Republic, it is the kite surfing capital of the world. That's a fun fact. And that about wraps it up. I hope you like this tour of Amber Cove and just the highlights. Again, make sure you're watching our other videos because we give you a complete tour of this entire island. Until next time, subscribe below. Now it's time for me to get in the water. In my sweet time feels right. Living in the moment. Cause I know where I'm going. I'm taking my sweet time. That's a wrap in Amber Cove. It's time to head back to the ship. We had a fantastic day. It's on to the next port, which is New York. It's time to get home. Don't believe the settling what comes easy takes courage. Don't let us tell you that it's not worth it. Don't let them take your purpose.